Hi. In this video, we're going to be looking at a geometry question from a practice SAT question on the College Board website. All right, so here we have a prism, um, and they did not give us a diagram, but anytime you have a question on the SAT that requires a diagram and they don't give one to you, please draw it. It makes your life so much easier. All right, so that, they told us, has a height of 90, and they said that the base is a square, so I'm going to make that x by x. Then they said that they took the prisms and they stacked the prisms one on top of each other. So I'm going to go ahead and recreate that situation. And so let me make it smaller. And so they stacked it one on top of each other. And so that's the new shape that they're referring to. All right, so now once you have that visual, now you can start to look at surface area. So I have two paths that I can go down. I can either use the algebra, use the X here, figure out expressions, and I would be okay doing that. But I can also plug in the answers. We know that one of these answers work, and that is the route that I'm going to go through in this question in order to demonstrate plugging in the answers as a very, very, very valuable tool on the SAT. All right, so when you have your answer choices here, again, you know that one of these answers is in fact the right answer. And so you wanna just go ahead and just start plugging in one of these as if it's the right answer and check. Now, when you do have the answers there, it's easiest to start with your middle numbers because if you, for example, tried four and it needs to be bigger, you'd have to then try eight, then nine, then 16. If you instead tried nine or eight and the answer had to be bigger or smaller, you would have fewer options that you have to go through and check. So I'm gonna start off, I'm gonna try B to see if B is or X value. All right, so how will I know? And that is the real question. So I'm filling in, and actually I'll use a different color here. I'm filling in values for X, so either um, X is eight or it's not. So let's go ahead and check. All right, so for the surface area of or figure, I'm gonna do all my calculations for this step in red. So if eight is the value of X, how do we find the surface area? So let's find first the single figure. So to find the single surface area of that shape on the left, that shape right there, we have to find the area of the front and the back, we have to find the area of the top and the bottom, and we have to find the area of the left and the right. So first I'm gonna start off with the front and the back. All right, well, good news. The front, the back, the left and the right are actually the same size. So I'm gonna go front, back, left, right in one shot, in one shot here. All uh, right, there we go. So labeling it for your benefit. All right, so the area of the front and the back and the left and the right, each one is going to be 90 times eight. But there's four of those, so we have to multiply by four to get the area of all four of those rectangles. Now, in order to get the area of the top and the bottom, so we're gonna add that when we have it, the area of the top and the bottom is eight multiplied by eight. So when we work all of that out, we should get that the air, oh, and there's two of them. Don't forget to multiply by two. All right, when we work through all of that, put that in our calculator, we get that the surface area is 3,008. All right, what do we do with that number? Scrolling back to the top of the question, it says that the new surface area for that stacked figure here, the tall one, is 92 over 47 times that number. So that other surface area should be, I'll do this, 92 over 47 times K. That new surface area should be 3,008 times 92 over 47. And when you work that out, you get 5,888. So now it's time to check if the surface area of that figure is in fact 5,888. If it is not, we would have to cross off B and move on to the next option. 
All right, so let's check. So again, we're doing the top, the bottom, the left, the right, and the back. I think I caught everything. I'm just gonna copy this over to my, here. One thing you cannot do on your test, unfortunately, but that's okay. All right, so the top and the bottom, let's do that last. Let's do the front, back, left, and right. So now or front, back, left, and right has a height of 180, because it's twice as tall now. And we're multiplying that by eight, and there are four of those. And for the top and the bottom, that did not change. It's still eight by eight, and there are two of those. And when you work that out, you should get 5,888. And lo and behold, those are the same values. This is good news. That means we can select answer choice B. We don't have to check any of the others, and we're done. But if it did not work and it was close to being correct, you would want to go down to C. And that would be likely your answer if your first answer was close to being correct because those two numbers are close. All right, hope that helps.